and welcome back to the Regimentals YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm going to shoot through some new items that are coming onto the website. Um, some of these pieces will be on um, as you watch this video, we update today. Um, and a few pieces are going to be coming onto the, to the website next week um, and, and the weeks following. We've just got back from Europe where we had a fantastic buying trip. Um, visited many people that we've not been able to see for a long time, picked up a lot of things which I knew that we were getting, um, but just hadn't had the chance to, to get them because of problems with Brexit um, and obviously the, the, um, the pandemic situation. So I'm just going to run through briefly here a display of the items which I have um, to show you. Starting here with this um, brilliant um, SS Oakleaf Oversmock. It has the original lace with it it's the black dyed version of the lace but it's the original one these now the, the oak leaf version was always the most common but they've just dried up you do not see them anymore um, so the price of the ss uh, the, the oak leaf smocks have really shot up this one is going to be about um seven thousand i think it's seven thousand eight hundred pounds on the website just behind it here the the luftwaffe schellenbaum that's the schellenbaum flag which um, would um, be held um, with the jingling Johnny um, just before the band marched through on their dem on their on their um, their marches. It's a very special piece, nice embroidery. Always command um, a, a high price. These do um, flag collectors love them because they're they're that nice and small and easy to display, um, but also very attractive. Right next to it here is one of my favourite pieces, an ultra rare piece. It's the um, overseas cap for a panzer general um, so it's army panzer being black with the um the eagle embroidered uh, onto it so 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 no backing cloth it's embroidered straight onto the cap and then the golden waffen farb embroidered straight onto the cap as well it's not stitched on the gold um uh, bullion gold bullion thread all the way around um, to show its generals not not officers obviously and a fantastic piece extremely rare um, I'd love to keep this for myself but I've got mouths to feed so um, that will be on sale on today's on today's update so you might miss it but I think it won't hang around too long um, moving along here uh, Waffen SS visor cap again uh, a brilliant investment piece always sell um, so popular and this one is really great condition as well next to it um, an early Algamine um, early Algamine visor cap and this one has the the early white label inside you quite often see them the black label with the white print on it and I've spoken in spoken in the past about the the alternative label which is the white label with the black text um, and that is the early version the RZM um, stamp on the underside of the peak always popular as well and you will notice well the early insignia the early eagle and skull um, below it here uh, Orts group um nsdap political leaders uh, uh tunic here known as they they were known as the golden pheasants i think because of the color of the of, of the tunic um this is the the blue piping orts group but we do also have going onto the website next week um the white piping for uniform cries i think it's cries level um you know a bit rarer than the blue but always really dramatic looking pieces they're fantastic looking pieces on a, on a dummy uh, for display Placed on the uniform here, um, similar to this version, but this is the officers. Now, this is an officer's panzer overseas cap. The silver wire Bevo Eagle uh, on the front with the silver bullion cockade as well, the roundel. And then came with this one was this little card um, saying whose it belonged to. Obviously, there's no name written or stitched into the cap, but that little card came with it. So um, from the sources where we got it from, we can only assume that it's always been with it. Quite often when you pick up pieces in mainland Europe, mostly Germany, they do have a little bit of history of, of who the owner of the cap was. So that's quite nice. A dagger here, really clean Luftwaffe first pattern officer's dagger with the Horster tag on it as well. I love it when you find them in, in, these condi in this condition. Just beside it here, um, Crusher cap. Now I love, I love Crusher caps. 
This may, I'm going to decide in the next hour or so, this may appear on the website as sold because I'm thinking of buying it myself for my own collection. I just love the look of the, the Crusher cap. Um, I've had so many different coloured variations uh, of piping pass through the regimental's hands over the years. This one is white pipe for infantry. Uh, not, the, not, not the most desirable. Obviously, everyone wants Panzer or Panzer Grenadier. Um, but I just I just love the look of it. They're so iconic. So I'll probably be, be buying that one for myself. Keeping with the World War II German vibe, just behind me here, uh, double decal paratrooper helmet. Um, a lot of people were asking about one which we had recently. Um, it was sold before it made the website, um, but I've got another one coming into stock. And then another uh, paratrooper smock here, tan and water, no eagle. It's had the, uh, the flare pouch on the back uh, removed, but still, you know, paratrooper smocks they, they are selling straight away so that's going to be a, a good thing moving away from the german world war ii uh, eagle eyes will have noticed a polish helmet here polish stuff is always popular uh, this particular helmet is, is one of the most desirable versions so that will be going onto the onto the website next week so look out for that here we have a, a very attractive french helmet this is the guard du maison royale so the royal guard of the guard of the royal household I think it's 1815, uh, around about that time. Really stunning, attractive piece. I mean, if you were looking for an item just for display, um, you can't get any better than that. It's just so, so fantastic. And next to it here, we have the very, very early 1842 Prussian helmet. Again, a, a really attractive looking thing. You can see how the pickle hole was uh, developed from this very early tall version. Fantastic piece. Um, Following it on next to it here, there is a, a few um, guard to core helmets. We are known for always looking out for guard to core helmets. We've used it as our logo for years here at Regimentals. We always buy nice guard to cores, officers and mans. Um, but we have two of them just come in on this recent trip. And then next to it here, um, 24th Dragoons Hess Pickle Harb. Again, Hess, Hess Pickle Harbs. Uh, and buckles and uniforms are always popular. It's one of the more popular states for collectors, but that's a fantastic piece. And just behind it here is a very, very early 1904 um, colonial tunic for East Asia. Extremely rare tunic, very rare. The, the, the flaming grenade on the, on the lapels there, on the epaulettes. Um, very distinctive cut for the pockets, lovely color to it as well. An extremely rare tunic, anything colonial, First World War, um, is very very popular and being very early as well a fantastic piece um, below it here is a train battalion tunic I can't quite get to it to show it to you but that will appear on the website um, with some nice documentation I think it's got his his paperwork with it in the pocket as well that will be on the on the update today so I mean this is just a teaser really there's lots more stuff coming in but we're unpacking it we've only just got back from our trip so it's going to take time for me to get it all out uh, and do all the paperwork for it. So keep watching the website. You'll see all these bits in the coming weeks. Um, don't forget, follow us on Facebook and Instagram and keep watching the website and we'll see you soon.